Welcome to Absolutely Essendon. Today it's report card time. Why? Because it's the school holidays here in Victoria, Melbourne, Australia, wherever you're watching from. Uh, so we thought that's a good time to uh, provide our uh, thoughts on uh, Brad Scott's performance thus far. Didn't start at an easy time for the club, but we're going to give him a score out of 10. Um, well, that's by, by the or, end. Of... Or, or, or should it be... An A, B, C. Oh, that's up to you, but I'm going out of no, 10. We'll go out of 10. And buenos dias also to all of our international uh, fans in uh, South America. We're really trending. Uh, oh, it's blowing we're trending. up, blowing we're up trending. Uh, over there. Uh, we can't walk down the street in Santiago. Well, that's because you've got a criminal record. There. Oh, <laughs> all right. Okay. okay. So, and also, my, okay. I'm pleased to hear that this is a review of Brad Scott. I thought you were going to give me my, uh, my performance review. Oh, that's coming up later. Yeah. Uh, Oh, not looking yeah. forward to that. No, that's, uh, uh, all right, so Brad Scott, let's, yes. let's get into let's it. Let's just get straight into it because, you know, he hasn't had it easy. And he came <sighs> into, it was a baptism of fire with all the stuff that was going on. Absolutely. Last year. Yeah. It was a mess. Why would it? you do it? I mean, my yeah. question is, he had arguably the cushiest job in the AFL. Sweet gig. Very sweet gig. And, I mean, because it's one of those jobs where you're not copping the heat from the media like, you know, Gil McLaughlin yeah. and... He can just sit in the background, pocket yeah. his 450 yeah. grand. You don't have whatever. fans busting your balls. No you know, fans. Move him to the forward line. No, no email out there for people to contact. And he takes on yeah. arguably the most poisoned of poisoned chalices in Australian football, being the Essendon coaching role. Is he, what was he, was he, was he missing? Because, you know, it's good to be an administrator and, yeah, Gil McLaughlin loves strutting around in his suits, no tie, you know shaking hands with people um, and maybe has aspirations for that gig one day. But really, yeah. sitting in that head office after a while, you, know, you, 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 you want the, that adrenaline rush, don't you? Well, I think if you had Gil walking past your office every morning, that would, would give me a little bit of an adrenaline rush. I don't, I don't know whether it would for Brad, but, but yeah. for sure. I think he's, he's on the record as having said that he missed the cut and thrust. Yeah. Yeah. Of uh, being an AFL coach, so, you yeah. know. So, despite the long-term security of a really yeah. cushy job down, not well, it's, yeah. it's cushy, but it was it's a, cushy, it's mate. Cushy. It's snout in the AFL. He's top. decided to go. Yeah, I'm going to put myself out there at Essendon, yeah. where you know you could be sacked at any moment. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. for that yeah. alone, yeah. I yeah. say hats off. Hats well off. done, Brad Good Scott. Life. But well, how's he gone? How's he been going, given he's taken on this incredibly challenging role? What's yeah. your thoughts on that? Look, thus far, I think he's, in terms of, you know, quality of decision-making, reading of the room, um, because, you know, uh, the, the last five or six years, let's face it, we just felt like everyone from the administration down to the coach has just been a bit delusional, just not just not, just not, not feeling what... I, I would say delusional is a compliment for yeah. the calibre of coaching yeah. that we've had for the last few years. Yeah, right. So... I mean, uh, no hard feelings, right? I'm just he's, saying that they he's were pretty just done, I mean, I don't, yeah, we're, not, you know, we're not behind closed doors. We don't pretend to know the ins and outs. But I love, for example, the very first game, the decision he made with Waller in the last quarter to bring him on at yeah. that moment. Crowd went nuts and then was, you know, rewarded. Waller kicked a goal. That's how you win hearts and minds. So you're saying that's like that. his reading of the room talent there, that the timing of the... Because Waller yes. was going to come on, right? Yeah. He was yeah. a sub. He would have yeah. come on. At, but it was sure. the timing it of was. that. Yeah, I agree. I yeah. think that... Because if, if I remember correctly, uh, Hawthorne were coming at us mm. in that last quarter. I mean, yeah. We had a pretty decent lead. But, you yeah. know, with Essendon, if yeah. someone starts coming at you, you get a bit nervous. Mm. And to bring um, Anthony on at that point in time... Yeah. yeah. And to have him then kick that goal, yeah, yeah, you know, that was the end of Hawthorne's day, I think. And yeah, so, it was just, but it was just a nice moment. That's yeah. how you, you know, that, that that's how you get. Uh, but look, bring, bringing back. a guy on as a substitute is not going to make your career as a coach. No, I no, mean, no, that, no. that's one moment. What else have you got? Yeah, well, okay, so all right, so here's, here's what I've got. So we're three and one um, at this stage. Yes, maybe we haven't beaten world beaters, um, but still. We are three and one, and I think we're all incredibly, incredibly grateful for that. Let me ask you this. Yeah. If the job had been given to James Hurt, if they had have gone back to the prodigal son, yeah. which I think we all would have loved because everyone oh, yeah. Yeah. loves a redemption yeah. story. Sure. We all love it and we're all kind of secretly hoping that one day that will happen. If, do you think we'd be where we are now? Would Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, probably not, honestly. And I'm, I'm a huge Hurt fan. I was actually... Yeah. Uh, 
secretly hoping he would get the gig. Because, yeah, I think, like you said, we, we want to see the man come back from that horrible mess yeah. where I think he was very unjustly treated yeah. um, and, and redeem himself. Well, yeah. not redeem himself. He had nothing to redeem himself over. But yeah. in the well, Let's not get into that. Let's not yeah. get into right. that. So, yeah, I was sort of, I guess the romantic <laughs> in me was hoping that yeah. uh, he would come back and lead us to the, the promised land. But the realist in me says that I don't think he would have been able to do it. Because I really don't. Is, is that more... Is it more getting the players on board? Because there's no doubt he's beloved, right? Way, way more by us, than, yeah. By us, the fans. Is yeah. he beloved by the players? I, I don't know. I think they respect him, obviously, as a footballer. But is he the type of guy that's going to come into that football club and immediately lay down the rules and the this is the way it's going to go type of yeah. uh, protocols that perhaps a, a harder guy like Brad Scott? Yeah. There's no doubt done. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Probably right. Yeah. Probably right. We'll never know, Look, but uh, I mean, probably right. I think yeah. We've moved on from James. I yeah. hope that someday he has a role to play at the club yeah. where it's appropriate, where it suits him and it suits the club. But for now, I think we've got to look at what Brad's doing. And, yeah. you know, I've been certainly sold on him over the okay. last few months. I think he's really shown us how calm he is, how considerate he is when... In press conferences, he yeah. thinks through his answers. He deals with the media very yeah. well. He does. And, and for the first time in a long time, I just feel like we're in the right hands. Yeah. How, how do you find it? Well, I, you know, I always used to watch the press conferences uh, over the last few years, last year in particular, because, you know, when, when the side loses, you're looking for hope. You're looking for something to, to hang on to. And I would just watch them like those priests that just self, what, what is it, flagellate, the ones that tie barbed wire to their legs, just... just is it their legs or is you, it something? Isn't it, what are they called? Those pre- anyway, Lyrics. just giving myself further pain because we would we would generally learn nothing in That's this. That's a pre- very revealing thing, always, thing you've just done about this. Oh, anyway, let's move no, on. I'm not saying I do that. I'm saying that's what it was akin but to. But you've got right? technique. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've read the Da Vinci Code. Oh, okay. Wasn't it? Wasn't he? Anyway, so you know, that, that, like you'd, you'd watch those press conferences and it was always like, oh, you know. You know, it's, you know, it's just disappointing. You know, we, you know, we, we had a, you know, we, we had a, we're just not playing the way we want to play. Remember that line? Learning, not playing. Yeah. Ah, oh, learning. It was just. Like, what was Bush? What, whenever he was asked a difficult question. Oh. oh, yeah, but you know, the the boys would have had terrific learnings from that. Oh, it was because just, you see, Wusher as a coach mm. couldn't be bothered teaching the players mm. anything. He mm. would, he would, he was all about, yeah. you know, go away, learn it yourself. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Oh, oh from I, experience. I remember I saw an interview with him, and he'd say, "Oh, you know, oh, you know." I walked up to Stringer this week, and I said, "You know, what's your focus? What's your focus? What is you, it? You, do you, you think Clarko? Tell me. Do you think Clarko walks up to a player and says, "What's your focus?" He tells you what your focus will be, yeah. and he'll remind oh, you. I'm off to the shop for a cafe latte Fucking and a donut. Exactly. Clarko. Like anyway, he do not get me started. You apart. In summary, yeah. Brad Scott is giving us more in press conferences. He's just given us something, and I mean, importantly, in the coach's box, we're getting a bit of. We're getting a bit of emotion. I want to see some of that occasionally. Yeah. Don't expect them going nuts, but no. give me something. Give me the occasional. Oh, you know, join us when there's a bad game. Yeah, I mean, smash a phone here and there. I don't yeah. care, but yeah. show something. I mean, Ben Rutten, I love the guy. Beautiful man. Deer in the headlights, honestly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he'd be looking out onto that football field with those that glazed over. Hey, can someone yeah. tell me what's going on here? Look, yeah. You know. Yeah. We're not getting that from Brad. No, You're getting no, piercings no. like lasers yeah. beaming yes. out onto yeah. the guy that, who turns the ball over. That's and right. I, you, I love that. You want to see jumpers burning yeah. down the training field. And, and just one, into one, sorry to jump. I, go on about burning jumpers. No, 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 no that's enough. All right. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask you about, and we, we're on a budget, so we're going to have to cut this short in a minute. Yeah, we're losing the satellite. The, the most famous bitch fight in AFL at the moment is uh, Adrian Dodoro and Josh Marnie. Yeah. I mean, it's like the old worldwide wrestling, world wrestling, world yeah, federation. Yeah, that's right. Mario Milano. Exactly, the, uh, down at Festival Hall. Yes. How is Brad Scott dealing with that? Is he dealing with it? Or is know. it like, fuck you, sorry, I know mm. you shouldn't say that this is no. for children. No. But, yeah, fuck you guys, you go mm. and sort it out. Is that, or is he just going, not my problem, Craig Vozzo or Vozzo, the new CEO, that's yeah. his problem. 
What what do you think's happening there? Uh, I uh, you know what? I don't have an answer for that. I don't know, but I'd love to think that he's getting involved there because you're suggesting that they don't talk to each other. They don't. Oh, you're not. So you're more than suggesting. But uh, Brad, yes. Brad yes. described yes. it. Yes. Well, yeah. But well, no. do, see, if they pass each other in the it's corridor, like, what's yeah, going yeah. on? What, it's that it's sort of on. attitude. It's attitude. Oh. They don't like each other. Okay, so they're, 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 they're trash talking each other. Probably. If they walk past uh, each other, what down Andy, at the hangar. What end do you pick number seven last year? Eh? That yeah. was a bit of a bust, you know, it's yeah. that sort of thing. Okay. Yeah. So right. from what I understand, uh, Brad has said, I think he was on television the other night on a, one of our competitors' shows, right. um, <laughs> pretty classified. Yeah. He, he was saying that it's a functional relationship. Which I think is, is, oh, is yeah. They're definitely not talking to yeah, each other. They, yeah, hate, yeah, yeah. they will kill each yeah. other the yes. first minute yeah. someone's not looking. Yeah, they right? cannot turn their backs. That's so, what that means. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anytime it's functional, uh, yeah. it's not. It's not yeah. good, is it? Yeah. When someone says, "Hey, it's like when you're married," and they say, "Yeah, it's a very functional marriage." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's no, not a good thing. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You're going nowhere. Let's give a score. Score out of ten. Right, okay. Um, no right. sevens. All right. Don't sit on the fence. So, I'll say. No, you go first. I'm going to give him seventy percent. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to give him eight. Wow. No, no, he deserves an eight because, okay. you know, I'm just feeling better about the team and that is worth gold. No, look, fair enough. I mean, springs I'm up. giving him 70 because I can't give him seven, of course, but yeah. uh, 70 because I think we're still early days, right? Yeah. So seven out of ten. I'd be happy. If I was at school and got seven out of ten for anything, I'd be happy. Really? Yeah. No, that wasn't acceptable at my house. Fair enough. Just fucking go back. That's all we've got for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Please hit a like. Tell your friends or your friend or your no. parents, whoever you want to tell about this incredible new show. Yeah. Go out and do that. I like the intimate uh, following that we have at the moment. It's well, yeah. I mean, we could probably have a cocktail party soon, but nothing yeah. more than that. Oh, he's had more people in his bed. Oh. See you soon. Do. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye.